Hi there. This is Voices of Trainers, little audios where real trainers talk about their well-being, the struggles they face, and their personal hacks. So did you ever feel the consequences of not managing your workload properly? Pressures on freelancers and also those working in organizations or institutions are increasing all the time. Particularly stressful for freelancers is the question, if I refuse this job, will they ever ask me again? Once upon a time, I accepted to work on three different training and, and educational events, one after the other, after the other, after the other. By the third one, I could hardly remember my own name, let alone those of any participants, oh, and even sometimes confusing team members. I decided never again. And I managed, I think. I did, yes. But don't let it happen to you. I had a situation a few years ago where I did, I think, three training courses in a row. And by the third one, I was absolutely exhausted and, and uh, really didn't want to be there. I felt bad about being there. I didn't feel I was giving myself, which I really believe in and, and try to do with every training course. And there was a situation with one participant who was just annoying and annoying and annoying me. And I reacted in a really um, uh, wrong way. Um, not to the extent that was felt by that person, but it put me in the wrong um, because I did react in, in, in an incorrect way. Um, and that caused a big friction between me and that participant for the rest of the week. I remember one time where I was in one of these periods that were very overwhelming and during several weeks I had a lot of trainings back to back, a lot of night work, little sleep. And then I was facilitating this community meeting between politicians, youth workers and young people. And I was on stage presenting the whole thing. And I remembered I paused mid sentence and I did not know what was the next word I was going to say. And I stayed on that stage for solid 30, 40 seconds, where everyone was looking at me thinking, okay, she's having a stroke. Um, but I truly couldn't, my brain just said, stop. And he chose the moment <laughs> and I couldn't figure out what to say next. And that was a big sign for me that, yeah, I'm not invincible. This audio is brought to you by the Holistic Trainer Project, funded by the Erasmus Plus program and implemented by the following partners. The International Youth Work Trainers Guild, Kubra, Magnet, and Team Maish.